So if you've seen my previous video, you'll know that calculating the correlation coefficient by hand is almost impossible, but using our calculator here, it's going to be very, very straightforward. First of all, I'm just going to draw this uh, x, y on an actual scatter plot, so I get a sense of the sort of answer I'm looking for. What it looks like, you can see that it's sort of heading up in that direction, so I'd expect a positive R value. And they're almost all in a straight line except for this dot here. So I probably expect a fairly high R value, maybe like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, something like that. All right, let's see what my calculator spits out for me. Now, first of all, we need to put our calculator into the right mode. So I go uh, mode here and I go into stat mode. Now, it gives you so many options here, but the option we need is two, A plus B X. That's our two variable mode. We have two variables, X and Y. So we use that one. And then it gives us this table here and we fill in the table. So number one equals, and then it just goes down the list. Uh, you can see it's putting a zero in the Y. I'll fix that in a second. All right, so the first X value is one, then three, five, four, and seven. So three. And then I just arrow back up to the top and I'll put in my Y values here, two. Okay, now I've done that. It's actually kind of saved to memory now. So it's going to feel really strange, but the next thing I'm going to do is press clear. Okay, it's still in there. It's just hiding at the moment. Now what I do is go to shift, stat, so number one, and then that up, opens up this statistics thing. We're going to press five. That REG stands for the word regression, and what we're doing is like a linear regression. Okay, so we press five, and then we're looking for three, which is R. And you see a little R pops out here. We press equals 0 0.8343. And that is my correlation coefficient for R. Make sure that you practice this a lot. You should be able to do this in your sleep. Uh, now, if I go back to the very beginning, if I press clear again and go um, here to mode and go back into start mode, and go back into two, you can see it's all cleared and we can start again. If it wasn't cleared, you can just press delete and you can delete all your options and keep going. All right, that's uh, finding the correlation coefficient R using your Casio scientific calculator.